Let me give her a new style, a new hairdo, a new cut, a new color. Dip me underway. Hey guys, um, so today I'm going to do something new. I'm going to do a hair tutorial video. Never did that before, so hopefully that turns out well. And then the setup is real ghetto today, honey. Yes? Can you wait? Setup is just a little ghetto because I do... I have a mirror in my bathroom, but I don't like saying I'm doing my hair. I don't even like doing my hair, let alone having to stand up, honey. So it's just easier to do it at my desk. So I'm literally have my laptop propped up using that as the mirror. And then you guys are on my phone. Um, I don't even know if I'm end up posting this. So y'all see it, y'all see it. And then let me know how you feel. But I was just a little uh, leery about doing this right now because I don't have a camera and I didn't know how the quality was gonna look because I'm also using my front face camera on my phone. So I could just make sure I'm seeing everything. Um, but I'm definitely getting a camera in 2022. So if this don't go the way I want and I don't post it, then I'll just, of course, do a video then. But hopefully this goes the way I want because I ain't doing my hair for nothing, honey. Um, anyway, so my hair gets like real oily. Sorry, I'm looking for what I'm gonna use. My hair ends up getting real oily after I do it like a week later, honestly, after I get it done like a week or two later. I just have like really oily hair. Like she does not put any oil in my hair. I just have oily hair. So I'll be trying to find little things to do to my hair. Um, so I decided to crimp it. I used to crimp my hair when it was way longer and I liked it. So I don't know how I feel about crimping it at this length. So we're gonna do that today. I'm gonna take you guys with me through the process. I think I'm gonna end up just doing a voiceover because I don't think I'm gonna be able to talk and do my hair at the same time. So I'll probably just end up doing a voiceover, but I'm using a bed head crimper. I got it from Walmart for like $20. And then I'm going to set it with this free spray. I've never used free spray before. I usually use like Tresemme. Um, I used to do this back in like 2013, 2014. So you know, that's when Tresemme was hot. So I used to use like Tresemme hairspray. And I used to use spritz, honey. I used to set my hair up. I don't know how I'm not bald headed. I used to spray my head with spritz. And I know y'all know what I'm talking about. That back in the day spritz. Um, and then I would put heat on it. And that's how I would crimp my hair, fried my hair right on up. But your girl ain't bald headed. So anyways, I'm not doing that this time around. I'll be trying to take care of my hair now at my big age. So um, yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Sorry, this thing is not coming out. I was supposed to already have all this stuff together. So I'm gonna just come back when I'm ready to start. And then like I said, I'm gonna do a voiceover, you guys. So also, I forgot. Welcome to my channel. My name is Moesha. If you're new here, if not, then, you know, yeah, welcome back. So. Okay, you guys. So first, um, brush your hair. To part it however you want to part it. I usually part mine in half. It's easier for me. Um, sometimes I part it in four, but anyways. So now you're just going to part it and start crimping your hair. Um... I use a banana clip because that's just easy. But any, anyway, sorry. I'm just I hate voiceovers. So as you can see, I'm crimping my hair. Usually, you should did you have to kind of do like a test strand. So this was kind of like my test strand to figure out how long, um, I needed to hold the crimp down. So I think if you're gonna do a thin piece of hair, you need to hold the crimp down for like ten to fifteen seconds. If you're gonna do a thicker piece of hair, twenty seconds or more. Like honestly, but. Do a test strand because you really don't want to just hold it down on your head for like a minute and then your hair be burned up. Um, and also, as you can saw, see, I did crimp it before I put the freeze spray on it. But then I realized that just was not working out for me. But I do not recommend that. So I don't want y'all doing what I do and then y'all coming back to me and telling me that y'all hair is broke off because don't listen to me. I just don't be caring what happens to my hair sometimes because I don't mind cutting it if anything gets damaged. Um, that's just me. But so I do think it works better if you spray your hair like first and then like brush through the free spray and then start crimping your hair um like to me that just works way better it holds it way better but do with that what you will just know that you probably should not put free spray on your hair and then put heat on it but if you don't care like me then go right on ahead if you do care then you should just crimp it and then after you cr crimp each piece 
spray the free spray to hold the crimp so the crimp don't like drop um but anyways yeah i just i'm not built for this life like my arm was giving out i was you're gonna see through this that i'm real lazy and i really hope y'all just follow through and trust the process because if you're looking at this video you thinking this girl i don't know what the heck she's doing honey but yeah it works out in the end Anyways, instead of just talking about me going through my hair because y'all can see what I'm doing, let's discuss selling Tampa, honey. So I don't know if y'all watched it. And if not, you need to go on um, Netflix and watch. And if you don't like stuff getting spoiled for you, then don't continue listening to me. But if you don't mind, then here, here it goes. So basically, it's just like selling Sunset, with, but with black people, if you ask me. So it's definitely more drama. A house did not get sold at all. I don't, I'm not saying these girls are not capable, but let me tell you, nothing got sold on selling Tampa at all, honey. So I don't even know. That's how you just know that the show was made for just the drama and not the selling of the houses because it was straight drama, straight tea the whole time. So Sherelle is the broker. She's the one who dates Ocho Cinco. She seems like nice, but I think she's only been a broker for like a year or two. So this is just all new to her. And I think she's trying to be she's trying to be a friend and a hard ass at the same time. And I don't think you can do that. She has developed relationships with these women. She's friends with a lot of these women. She recruited some of these women because she was friends with them first. And now she's trying to like manage them. And they're not really for it. You can tell they're not really for it. And it just shows. So that's what's messing her up at this point. Honestly, that's what's messing her up. So anyways, here you go. This is half of my hair done. As you can see, honey, it's looking real messy, but it's still going to be cute. Like, it's still going to turn out cute, y'all. Trust the process. So you're just going, I think it's cute. I think it's giving, doing a little dance and whatnot. So yeah, I'm, you know, just keep going with the hair, as y'all can see. Just follow along. But anyways, back to the show. So then there's Joanna. She's the office manager. Now, the issue with this is Sherelle, the broker, did not announce that she's the office manager like you should have like told people hey this is her new position this is what she's gonna be doing this is what you need to go to her for she didn't do that so now everybody shades her calls her a fake hr you know childish they're real childish on the show for saying everybody's grown then there's this girl rena she's the one with the shortcut they her and sherelle was actually friends before this whole real estate thing so if you see how shady rena is it don't sit right with me but rena does know what she's talking about rena has a lot of experience and she don't like how Sherelle is running her business. So now she wants to be a broker. And there's nothing wrong with that. But she'd be blowing me because she's like, I still want to be her friend. I don't want it to be any bad blood. But I'm trying to steal her um, her staff. Like she literally is trying to steal the staff to go with her when she opens up her own brokerage. But then you still want to be somebody a friend. Like, no, honey, it does not work like that. Then there's this girl, Alexis. She dates like a football or basketball player. She's an airhead. She's a complete airhead. This girl literally keeps saying, oh, the house will sell itself. Oh, the house will sell itself. The house is not selling itself if you do not know any of the information. She's showing on a million dollar house telling them the taxes on the, the house is $6,000. She knew she was lying. And he knew she was lying. And like, girl, that's bad for business. This house ain't selling itself. You need to get it together. Then everybody was trying to help her. She didn't want the help. She swore she was like knowing what she was doing, but you don't. So she got fired. Then there's Colony and Aunt Sophie. I like Colony, but she's secretly hating on Joanna because she wants to be the office manager because she feels like since she's been there longer than Joanna, she should be the office manager. People need to realize it's not about how long you've been there. You need to put in that work. Um, and Aunt Sophie, I did like her in the beginning, but then she started to be a little too shady for me, honey. So yeah, y'all need to watch it. And if y'all watched it, comment below on how y'all feel about everybody because I'm very interested. All right, y'all, here we go. We are finishing up the hair. As you can see, one side does look better than the other. So y'all don't got to talk y'all shit to me because I already know. But it's still going to come together. So just hang tight. Okay, you guys, I am done crimping it. <laughs> if y'all watch this whole thing, y'all going to be like, this was something. <laughs> Anyways, um... I don't know nothing about laying edges, so we're not doing any of that. I did put a little edge control, like, where the edges are to, like, slick it a little. 
But no, I can't do no like swoops or anything, honey. Like I just can't do it. I don't know nothing about it. So anyways, this side is more crimpy than this side. And usually, cause I did this side first, usually the side I do first looks the best because I started off the strongest, but my arm was cramping up after like one crimp. <laughs> but then on this side, I was like, all right, I pushed through and I had got a little energy. So this side isn't as like this side isn't as defined as this side, but it's giving like beach waves. I'm gonna like get cute and take some pictures for the um yeah, I know what I'm saying. The thumbnail. So then you're gonna see in the thumbnail, like, oh, this really does look cute. So I don't want y'all being like this girl gonna set herself up because I did not. It's gonna be cute once I you know get it together, put it together. But right now it's just looking rough. Um, but it's not the same as the crimper I used to have because these barrels, if you can look in it, this is way deeper than the other crimper I had. I don't know, Mari, you gotta find it. Um, this crimper is way deeper than the crimper I used to have. The crimper I used to have was like thin. So the I think the crimps with the thinner one is like more you found it? Okay. I think the crimper with the thinner like barrels is more defined like you're gonna get a more defined crimp this is really giving beach wave so if you're into beach waves which i've never done beach waves but it's cute um if you're into beach waves then it'll be cute but if you want like really a crimping style then i think you should get the one with like a thinner barrel um if i can find one online i'll link it because i'm gonna link this one so if i can find the one that i'm talking about then i'll link that and it'll give you like a more defined crimp but yeah i'm gonna style this a little bit play with it then i'm gonna take some pictures for the little um thumbnail because the thumbnail is gonna have to be lit because <laughs> if y'all get through this video and y'all watch this video this um trust the process because y'all probably like this going to fried her hair up don't worry it's safe my hair is fine so anyways um i think after this i'm gonna end up doing because i'm gonna wash this out probably sunday so I'm gonna do like a wash day routine video um, with you guys. So just let me know if any other like hairstyle vi videos y'all want me to do. It's gonna be ghetto because I don't do my own hair. Like I'm telling you, I do the bare minimum to my hair. That's why this was like a stretch. So um, just bear with me. Try ask me to do something easy and I'll try. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye. <laughs> Until my